Today, we are going to dive into the exciting world of system archetypes. But before we get started, let me ask you a question. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're trying to solve a problem, but no matter what you do, the problem just keeps coming back? Well, that's where system archetypes come in. Definition of system archetypes. System archetypes are common patterns in complex systems that can cause recurring problems. They are like recurring themes in a movie or a book. Just as knowing the theme of a story can help you understand it better, understanding system archetypes can help you understand complex systems better. Common system archetypes. Now let's talk about some common system archetypes. We have the limits to growth archetype, which is when a system reaches its maximum capacity and can't grow any further. It's like trying to fit too many people in a car. Eventually, there just isn't any more room. Another archetype is the shifting the burden archetype, where a problem is temporarily solved by shifting it to another part of the system. It's like when you have a headache and take a painkiller, but then the headache just moves to your stomach. Analysis of system archetypes. So, how do we analyze these archetypes? Well, we can use tools like causal loop diagrams and stock and flow diagrams to help us understand the behavior of complex systems. By understanding the behavior of these archetypes, we can make predictions about the future behavior of complex systems. Applications of system archetypes. But why do we care about these archetypes? Well, by understanding these common patterns in complex systems, we can make better decisions in areas like economics, politics, and environmental science by recognizing the success to the successful archetype. For example, we can understand why it's often difficult for new businesses to compete with established ones. And by recognizing the fixing the wrong problem archetype, we can avoid fixing symptoms instead of the root cause of a problem. Integration of system archetypes with other systems thinking tools. Finally, let's talk about the integration of system archetypes with other systems thinking tools. By combining system archetypes with tools like stock and flow diagrams and causal loop diagrams, we can get a more complete understanding of complex systems. It's like having a toolbox. Each tool is useful on its own, but when used together, they can do even more. In conclusion, system archetypes are common patterns in complex systems that can help us understand and analyze these systems better. By combining system archetypes with other systems thinking tools, we can get a more complete understanding of complex systems and make better decisions in areas like economics, politics, and environmental science. So keep an eye out for these archetypes in your daily life. They're everywhere. And with that, our lecture on system archetypes is complete. Thank you for your time and have a great day.